Hey you, yeah you, I'm looking at you right now. You probably tried adding YouTube chat and it's a real pain in the butt and it's not working, huh? Well, I had the same experience and honestly, I ripped out so much in my hair that I'm only gonna have a couple strands left by the time I'm 40. But luckily, I figured out how to set up YouTube chat for Streamlabs OBS and I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step in today's video, keep it nice and short for you. Does that sound good? If it does, make sure to drop a quick like on the video. Let's get into it. When we're talking about YouTube chat, you're probably talking about a couple different things. You either wanna have the YouTube chat on Streamlabs so you can read it while you're streaming or you either want to have your YouTube chat displayed over your stream so that way your viewers can see it. Or maybe even you only have one monitor and you want to see the game chat over your gameplay so that way you can read chat while playing the game on one monitor. The first two are really easy to do and I'm going to show you how. The third way is honestly a pain in the butt and deserves its very own video. But I'll show you what you need to enable in this video just to get you started. So let's jump into Streamlabs. So real quick for the people that want their game chat over their gameplay on one monitor, what you need to do is go to the bottom left corner, click on the settings, and then you're you're going to go to game overlay. This is the setting that you want to mess with, but honestly, there's so many different things that you have to do with it. And I don't want to make this a 30 minute video. So comment down below if you want me to make a separate video on this, but this is the setting that you want to do and just do a little bit of research on that and you'll get up and running. But let's set up the chat box for Streamlabs OBS and also set up the chat box for your stream in Streamlabs OBS. So the very first thing we want to do is log in with your YouTube account and your settings down here. You can see that I'm logged in. Next, you want to go to the stream tab and make sure that your YouTube account is logged in and connected and then we're going to hit done. If you've tried doing this before, then you'll just click out this little tab and you'd be like, okay, well, I don't see my YouTube chat like I normally see my Twitch chat. And that's okay because I'm going to show you a workaround. So what I found to work with YouTube chat is actually to start up a stream. But don't worry, nobody's going to see this stream because we're going to have it as unlisted. So what we need to do is we'll actually go live. So click the go live in the bottom right corner. If you guys have never been live before or don't know how to YouTube stream, then you need to watch this stupid playlist that I've been working on in the top right corner. It's going to hold your hand on how to stream and set up your stream. So watch that. That, pause this and come back if you don't already know how to stream you knucklehead but if you've streamed before then all we need to do is just click privacy and we're going to change this from public to unlisted that way we can have our very own private stream that nobody's going to watch except us so that way we can make changes as necessary so once we have it as unlisted we'll scroll down and then click confirm and go live then we're going to give it a second to boot up and then you'll notice it says we're live and our chat has automatically popped up on the side so this part is basically done but i'm going to show you a couple things that might happen to you first thing you want to do is always change top top chat to live chat because if you do top chat some messages might not be shown just in case so you'll always want to do live chat to make sure that all messages are visible if for whatever reason this is giving you an error then I'll show you a workaround so let's go over to YouTube studio I'm on my YouTube studio account and what we need to do is click the create button in the top right and then click on go live you'll notice that we already have a live stream going which is great so we're going to click the little live stream then you can see that our live stream is unlisted so nobody can see it except us but we want to go to the chat and then you see these little dots right here you'll click that and then you can click pop out chat so now you have your very own pop out chat that you can take this pop out chat and put it over the chat box over here in streamlabs obs if for whatever reason it's not popping up for you so now that we have the chat room showing up for us let's actually test it so i'm going to go to the youtube studio page because this is the only place that you can actually talk to your chat through the chat box for whatever reason it's really weird i'm going to type a message and then you can see that my message has showed up in the chat but if you go to actually sign into chat here you'll click this button you'll want to open it in the web browser and all it's going to do is I'll click it it's just going to open up the pop out chat here so it's honestly a pain in the butt and I don't know why that is but if somebody does know why comment down below and let me know so if you want to talk to your chat just do it through YouTube studio through text but most of you streamers are going to be using a microphone anyways and that's not going to be necessary so we have our chat box working now let's get our chat box working so our stream can see it so we're going to go to our sources we're going to click plus and then we're going to scroll down to widgets and then we're going to click on chat box and then hit add source I'm going to click add new source instead but if you don't have that option that's fine and then I'm gonna call it YouTube chat box I'm gonna click add source and we have a bunch of different settings that you can change here we got some preview windows of what it's gonna look like I personally like the twitch theme they have a bunch of different themes and different settings you can do you can also change the font settings like the font size the chatter a bunch of other settings that you can go over on your own time and lastly you can change the width and height here if you need to change the box size but to keep it simple we're gonna hit done and then this is our YouTube chat box I'm gonna put it right over here it fits perfectly in snug but you notice that there's no messages so let's actually go and test out some messages so we're going to type some messages in the chat and now that we've got a couple messages sent you can actually see they're popping up and working in the preview but let's confirm that so now we have the YouTube chat so the viewers can see it we have the chat so we can see it on the side once you're done making all of your changes you can go and click the end stream button in the bottom right and then you can go to YouTube studio and then click end stream as well and then you can just delete this VOD in the studio watch this video to the side of me it's going to help you so much with your YouTube streaming adventures comment down below spooky gang if you made 
made it to the end of the video. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.